Uh, it's time for a song, a tribute to one who is no longer with us, a true hero. Whether you know it or not, he has affected your life directly. And to help us sing this tribute, would you please welcome back to the stage, Jonathan Fulton. Brought his own microphone and stand. Brought my own microphone and stand. Still humble after all these years. Got a cruise named after himself. Still doing his own roadie work. Uh, okay, so um, this song, it's a tribute to a, as a person who has, has passed is no longer with us. As per usual with this song, if you have, um, well, not lighters obviously, because you're on a ship and nobody smokes anymore anyway. But if you've got a phone, lights up, or you know, lightsaber, or no, not an actual lightsaber. Yeah, if you've got Java eyes, oh wow. Maybe you glow. Maybe you can actually glow. Okay, so our Java with the Java eyes is giving me very, very serious Amityville horror vibes right now. Yeah, I'm not saying stop, it's pretty cool. In a creepy way. So save it for the choruses, please. Jedi or Sith. Save it for the choruses. Um, most most of the most of what you hear in this song is true. <clears throat> Robert C. Baker died on a Monday. day. We all know his work, although he knew his name. A Cornell professor who taught poultry science, forever enshrined in the poultry hall of fame. Eighty-four years worth of food innovations. Chicken dogs, turkey dogs, and turkey ham. But beyond them all stands Baker's greatest creation. For Baker begat chicken nuggets for man. Oh, nugget man, oh, nugget man. Head Do they? <laughs> it rhymes with the right word, though. 